Welcome back to Vesta 360, your cloud-based interior design software. In the previous video, we looked at navigating through the 3D scene and the floor planner. Keep in mind that unlike other softwares, we simply use the floor planner only for creating the floor plan. No windows or doors are applied at this stage. That is done once you're in the 3D view and then you can get into the windows and doors menu and drag and drop different items into the scene. When you're dragging and dropping items, you will notice that there is a yellow highlighted area or planes that show you where this item could be dropped. So for a window, obviously it goes on the walls. Doors do the same. However, if we look at cabinets, the base cabinets will pretty much go anywhere. If I drag it, hold my left mouse button, I see that the floor is highlighted, so is the wall. So I can put it up against the wall here. Or I can bring it in the middle of the room. As for upper cabinets, they are strictly wall mounted. We use the same logic for other appliances, fixtures such as lighting. If I want to put a ceiling light, then that highlights only the ceiling for me to position that. I can access different parameters about each item. As you can see here, I have information, which is its first dimensions then its position relative to the four corners of the wall of the ceiling and then light intensity is there as well so I can change the colors and modify its intensity if need be when I double click on a cabinet. Not only do I have options here next to the cabinet, but for cabinets we have a menu full of information that you can modify in a parametric way about that cabinet. So dimensions is one thing. Simply enter the dimensions that you want. Decimals and fractions are fine. The number of adjustable shelves inside the cabinet, fillers, simply click on the filler that you want. By default they're set at 2, but you can come and enter the value that you want. To move a cabinet, of course I can simply, as it's highlighted, I can simply come and hold my left mouse button and send it to the to where I want. But there's also another way through the second tab called position where I can send it quickly to the left, to the right, or perfectly center that on this wall. As a matter of fact, that functionality will center it in between any two items. So for example if I have this scenario, when I come here, here, and I click to center, that'll perfectly center it between these two cabinets. I can click on fill which will simply fill that in between those two cabinets. So you can use that if you simply want to fill up two 
spaces uh, fill up a cabinet in between two cabinets. I will come back here and remove that because that's not what we want. The same thing with upper cabinets. And as I double click, you will see that I see dimensions that are shown to me about that cabinet. The move button is if I want to simply move it relative to its current position. So I can move it two inches to the right or to the left from the current position. Upper cabinets automatically come aligned with tall cabinets at the desired position above wall, above floor. If you wish to remove that, let's for example take this cabinet, I could only keep, by default, they will be perfectly aligned. However, I can come and click the Y movement and that allows me to, as you can see, allows me to start moving things vertically as well. So I could either enter in a value that I would want it to move based on that, or I can come and use my mouse to maneuver it where I want, especially if it's underneath another cabinet. That's it for today. See you in the next training course.